Hey guys, so how do we keep our water from freezing? Well, I've tried a lot of different things. There's a lot of things I didn't like. It kind of worked, kind of didn't, you know, and all that. What we've come up with the best thing so far is this. This is a shed that I bought off of one of the other um, farmers around here. Uh, I think I went through that before and it used to be a, uh, a grain shed and I got it for like 850 bucks or something like that. And that's where I keep everything, all my electrical and my, my water and stuff. But I want to show you guys a very easy way of keeping things, little areas heated uh, for winter. Uh, our winter can get pretty bitter cold around here. Uh, this was a cheaper way for me to do things. That way I didn't have to uh, build a whole huge addition to the house to keep the water from freezing during the winter and, and all that kind of stuff. So I just did this. So I wanna show you how I keep the place warm. So here we go. So this is the shed. As I showed you guys before, my Jenny's right there, the gas for it. And this right here, I say, well, what the hell is that? Well, what that is, is it's an RV furnace. It's a small RV propane furnace. It's, and if you go inside, okay. Oh. Again, RV lights, very nice, very easy to work with. All 12 volt, so that's nice. If my thing goes off, I have 12 volt system going through the shed so I can keep an eye on things and I can work and I can do things. Anyways, my tote is, is there. My pressure tank is here. My pump is there. And my heater is right there. I do want to build something around there because uh, I don't know, call me old school, but I don't like things being that close to something that's not, that's flammable. But anyways, I want to do something, maybe do some concrete blocks around there. I left myself enough room so I can do some concrete blocks and then it'll act like a battery for the heat. So here we go. We're gonna start this puppy up. It's actually very easy to start. I'm gonna put this down here where maybe you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. So, turn your tank on. Come over here, I got this on low. Put it down. Most of them are this way. Now your pilot light is going. Just push on it. Pilot light should be started. Let me see if I can get in there. You see that little pilot light? Usually you leave that on for about, oh, they say 30 seconds, but some of them are almost instant. This one's almost instant. I can let go of the button now. And you see, it's on. And then all I gotta do is turn this so that the, the actual furnace is on. And you'll see, hopefully, you can see in there. Yeah, and it started. Now this thing is on low. I keep it on the lowest possible setting. It saves on gas. And as long as you have a well insulated shed you're good right all my insulation and everything else and what I did over here to keep this area low roof I didn't go all the way up right there see I went down and went down across like that it makes it a smaller area for me to heat I do have to clean this place up oh my god how do I ever have to clean this place up but I've been doing a lot of construction and it's the only place that's warm out here for certain things. So, but anyways, yeah. So there you go. 